My name is Leotis Buchanan, and I'm from Jamaica. Cool. What, what deployments uh, have you worked with? Well, while I was in Jamaica, I worked with the deployments in Jamaica, which is typically the Augustown deployment and the Providence Basic School deployment. Those are the two deployments that I've worked with. Okay, and what, what, uh, what sort of functions did you do with them? Well, my background is electrical engineering and computing, so my function was writing glue software right, that actually helped out the project, and also doing things like uh, electrical and electronics tasks. One of my tasks was to build a gang charger that actually allowed the, the students at the Augustown Primary actually charge a large amount of laptops at once right? and I did this using uh, old computer uh, power supply right? with just basically repurposing an old computer power supply right? which made it really cheap and accessible for the project. Cool and then how did you first get started? Well I actually got started I saw I was walking, I was a graduate student at the time at the university, university of West Indies and I saw a poster up that says that they were about to do this whole PC, this one laptop per child and it, they were inviting volunteers. So it was, I think it was just before lunch or just after lunch and I didn't have a class or anything so I went <laughs> and based on the presentation that was done I decided to volunteer. Cool, and then what was the moment that really got you hooked on it? Okay, well, what actually got me hooked was the looking at the projects that are currently in place all over the world. Right? And my, I did some amount of teaching right, during my undergrad years, and I was very aware of the education system in Jamaica and the needs that it is actually in place. Right? So I believe that this project could have been a project that would be very beneficial to students in Jamaica. So that was my primary motive for actually getting involved so I could actually give back. Cool. What has been some of your favorite moments in the project? Well, I mean, the favorite moments is, is not about the laptop or the technology. It's when you actually see that expression on the children's face, you know, that the smile and it's not a smile that is just within the mouth area, the whole face smile. Right? And then looking at the projects and you see how happy the kids are, right? that's what keeps me with the project, you know, the results. And knowing that you're doing this thing and the, the future is benefiting. Right? Cool. And then what, in correlation, what are the hardest parts? What are the parts that make you almost want to give up? Well, interestingly, I haven't wanted to give up right? and uh, I've never been with any hard parts but the hard parts are unfortunately is getting the administration, the, the persons in my age group, the administrators, the teachers, right? getting funding for the project. Right? Those are the hard parts, getting the, the current generation of teachers to actually buy in, into the concept of the one laptop per child. Right? Okay. And then, what do you see about sort of like the imperialistic side of things, the, uh, the dangers of, you know, how do you preserve cultures in countries? Well, uh, that, that is an issue, right? But however, the one laptop per child is built on open source software, right? And the actual model is actually teaching someone to fish, right? Into, instead of giving someone a fish. Right, so it's actually possible for the teachers or for the, the, the persons on the ground that's doing the project to actually modify the whole content of the old PC to fit, fit their culture. Right, so there are two options for projects. The administrators or the persons on the ground can actually just accept what comes from old PC right, or they can play an active role in the project and actually structure it in a way to to facilitate their culture. Okay, and then what do you see as a future well, for this project? It's, it's actually a start, you know, and I always say uh, a mind that is stretched to a new dimension will never return to its original dimension. And 
giving kids a laptop that is fairly open, right, it opens up a whole world of possibilities. Right? So now we have kids actually sharing from different countries, right? kids making videos. So the kids are, I mean, are becoming not so mentally enslaved, <laughs> yeah, which is great. So what I see is that, uh, I see old PC, it will be transforming. Right. No, it's a, no, it's a, it has a particular structure as a result of the founders. Right? They, have, they have actually imposed a particular structure. In, but one of the benefits, I call it the benefits of opening up the, the, the students' mind, which is the future, right? they are going to change the whole concept of whole PC. Right? So probably 10, 15 years from now, right, they are going to probably come up with better PCs, better laptops, better methods to actually uh, reduce the digital divide. Cool. So, so I see the old PC project actually transform into a form that will not resemble anything that we have here now <laughs> as a result of its own doing. <laughs> Excellent. And then what word would you have for like volunteers? Like if someone was saying, hey, I'd like to volunteer, what kind of advice would you give them or kind of lessons would you pass on? Well, despite Everything that you do in life, right, and all your achievements, if your life is just for you, right, it's far less effective than if you actually share. And it's so easy to share your knowledge, especially as a technical person or as a non-technical person, and the impact is magnified a thousand times. Right? So it will make you a happier person, just helping, especially when you see a smile. Right? And what goes around comes around, so take a chance and send good around. <laughs> you get bigger, bigger and come back around as greater good. Excellent.